What's going on guys? This is going to be another beginner Android Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use buttons in your app. So let's create a new project. I'm just going to click on create a new Android project and I'm going to call it buttons. Next, next and we'll just do empty activity. That's fine. Click finish and let Android build your app. Okay, once it's done we're going to go into activity main and we're going to throw in a couple buttons. So first I will delete this text view, this hello world text view here. Let's go to the design tab and let's drag in a few buttons just like we were dragging in the text views in the previous video. So I'll just drag in a button and put it here and we're going to set some properties for the button. I'm going to call this button one. I in Mostly I usually prepend uh, the names of buttons with BTN just so I know it's a button when I'm referring to it in main activity. Just, uh, just a habit I have. I'm going to change the width to match parent so that the button takes up the entire width and I'm going to change the button, the button text to button 1. Actually we'll say uh, first button. And that's it for button 1. Let's drag in a second button. We'll call it button 2. We'll go down to the text and say second button and then we'll change the width to match parent. And let's go over to the text tab down here and take a look. Everything looks pretty good. Let's uh, let's go back to main activity. We're done in activity main, and the first thing I want to do is uh, make sure that my tag is up top. The tag is what you use for logging purposes, so it's a good habit to always put your tag in. Just type log t and press enter. You'll see it come up, and our tag is going to refer to which activity we're in. So we're in main activity, so our tag is main activity. Then inside on create, I'm going to create my very first log just so that if I look at the log I know that this activity successfully created and there was no problems. So you type log D, hit enter, and just type on create started and that'll be good. Now I just want to run the app really quick to make sure that my buttons are okay. The buttons that I put in activity main, I just want to make sure that I put them in properly and the app isn't going to crash. It's always better to run your app more frequently than not just to make sure when you add something you don't get any errors. So let's click the play button, click on your device that you want to run it on. Okay, we have our app started. We're going to go down and click the Android monitor tab down here so we can watch the log. So we click on that and we can see we get our on create started log, which is right here. So that's good. And now we're going to click the buttons and make sure that the app is okay and doesn't crash. So everything looks good here. Nothing, nothing's crashing. So we're, we're good to uh, go to the next step. So I'll stop the emulator. Now the first thing we need to do, since we just created two buttons, we need to create buttons in main activity and attach them to the ID here. So you'll notice that each one of these has an ID. We need to declare these buttons in on create and attach them to that ID. So we go button, oh, and we can see here Android Studio is letting me know that the button library isn't in the activity yet. So if I go up to the imports, you can see that I don't have a button library. So Android Studio lets me know, and I just gotta hit Alt Enter, and it will import, it just imported this library here for me. So we'll call this button first button, type equals button, and then find the view by ID, so r.id, and we can see button one is right there. Now we'll do the same thing for second button. Second button equals button, find view by ID. You just start, start typing find, and Android Studio will fill it in for you. Hit Enter, r.id, dot button two. And you can see there's our button two. So now we have both of the buttons in this activity connected to the relative IDs from over here. Since the main thing that you do with buttons is uh, use them to execute actions when you click them, that's what I'm going to show you how to do here. So I'm going to execute a few things when you uh, click on the first button or click on the second button. Typically what you use buttons for is like switching screens or changing some kind of a property on the screen or I mean you can use it for tons of things but almost always it's some kind of a click so I'm gonna show you how to set that click to the button so the first thing we do is just go type, start typing the button name so first button set on click listener so just start, start typing set you can see set on click listener pops up press enter type new o n and you can see on click listener pops up right here again. Oh, and one thing to note, when I did that, make sure you use a capital O. If I use a little O, notice nothing comes up. It has to be a capital O. And you can see the on click listener pops up. So press enter, I'm missing a semicolon down there. Now I just want to create a log to make sure that the button click is working correctly. So I can look in the Android monitor and 
make sure that when I click that button, a log actually printed out to the Android monitor. So just to start typing log D, press enter, and then I can type clicked button one. And let's run the app and make sure that it's working correctly. So run it. If we look down here in the Android monitor, we can see on create is started. Now let's click the first button. And there we go. We can see in main activity, the on click method clicked button one. So that's working correctly. Cool. Let's go back to our code. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to print out a little message when you click the button. So if you guys, you're obviously familiar with Android, you'll notice um, these little messages pop up on the bottom of the screen when you click certain things or do certain things. It's called a toast. It's like a little gray message box. So I'm going to print out one of those when I click this button. And what we do is we type toast dot make text past the context. In this case, the context is main activity dot this. The context just refers to which activity you're in. And then we're going to type our message. Click button one. Then we do comma. And now we're going to pass. You can see that Android Studio is telling me what I need to put here. The first parameter was context. The second parameter was the character sequence, so the message. And then the third parameter is the duration, so the length of time that this message is going to be printed on the screen for. So we type, um, what do we type? Toast dot length, and let's just do length short. And so, so that's all good. That will create our toast message. But you can see Android Studio is telling me there's a problem. Toast created but not shown. Did you forget to call show? Yes. So at the end of this, you have to type dot show and that will actually show the message. So let's stop the app and rerun it and see if our toast prints out. So we'll click on button one and we can see we get a message here, clicked button one. Cool. Now I'm gonna show you uh, kind of a little shortcut. I use this in almost all my videos. So if you, if you watch my videos, you'll become very familiar with it. Let's create a little method down here that prints out toast just to make it easier. Cause this is kind of a lot to type out. It'd be nicer if all I had to type was the message. So we'll create a method do private void uh, toast message and we'll pass the message and then in, so inside this method I'm just going to take this so I'm going to I'm going to cut it paste it in here and I'm going to take the message and replace that so now all I'll have to do is go up here and I can type toast message and I can just type click button one so now that will print out a toast let's write some comments in here So now you can copy and paste this into all of your applications and you'll have an easy way to print out a toast. Of course, if you have a different activity main, you'll have to change the activity main, but that's all you'll have to change. All right, so now that we have our first button set with an on-click listener, let's set an on-click listener to our second button. So we just type, same thing, second button dot set, and you can see on-click listener comes up. Then we go new, capital O, and we see on-click listener pops up. Now we'll just copy everything that's up here so copy, paste, and we're just going to change this to number two, and this to number two, and we can run it and test it. Okay, let's let's open up the Android monitor, and we can see main activity started successfully. Now let's click button one, and we see we get the clicked button one toast. And let's check the log, and we see down here also our on click method um, sent this to the log click button one so that's good that's working now let's click button two and we can see click button two and down here that also printed out in the log so it looks like everything's working correctly that's all I'm gonna go over in this tutorial I want to make it nice and simple just to give you the backbone of what's happening here so that you can tackle more complicated things later on I'm gonna be doing a ton of beginner tutorials so if you want to get notifications when I post new tutorials following me on Twitter is the best bet I post everything to Twitter first so That'll let you know whenever I post something new. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like below. Subscribe for more tutorials like this. And thanks for watching.